If you're not yet a subscriber, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also the little bell icon so you can be alerted each and every time we make a new video. Hello, Ira Miller here, the Village's expert. Today we are coming to you from the village of Duval here in the Villages. And we're gonna do a video for Jan, who is in California and she contacted me, asked me if I would do a video of this home at 1419 Walterboro. Now, um, more than happy to come out here and do a video for her or anybody else who's kind of stuck in place with the way the pandemic is. And so this is probably one of the only ways that she can buy a house without going through all the quarantine process and everything else that's associated with um, the California rules and regulations on the coronavirus. So we, uh, she asked me if I'd come out here and do a, a video. Absolutely, not a problem. And so that's what we're doing. Now, if you are not young and you are watching this video, it's because she has decided this is not a home for her. Because when we do private videos for individuals, we keep this video private until that person tells us they no longer want it. Because it's just not fair for someone to ask me to come out and do a video and then me, me put it uh, public on my YouTube channel and somebody else comes along or several people come along and want to buy this home. So we'll keep it private for you. So if you're anybody out there who is in the same position as Jan and Jimmy, who I just did another video for, um, Jimmy's stuck up in New York, can't come down. Jana, Jan is out in uh, California and she's stuck out there and can't um, come in. So Jan, uh, we're doing this just for you today, all right? So hopefully you enjoy this video. We're gonna come out um, and do a walk around the outside of this first. We're gonna go ahead and do the inside and then we're gonna send the drone up. And from the drone, we'll show you what this house looks like from above. And also we're gonna show you the recreation features that are close by in this area. If you ask me where a um, town square is, I would say probably uh, about four miles as the crow flies, okay? Three and a half, four miles to get the Lake Sumter Landing. It would probably take you by golf cart, I'd say 20 minutes. If you were to drive it, take you half that time, 10 minutes, all right? So let's go ahead and uh, do a walk around and uh, get started on this video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on this video. So this is a one and a half car garage. Okay, uh, needs a little repair down here. In this vinyl, when they do get an inspection on this home, the inspector is going to note that and he's going to require that that get fixed. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go around this side. There is gas in this community, so there's the gas meter. This air conditioner is the original air conditioner. So it was manufactured in um, February of 06. So this air conditioner is 15 years old. All right, so this is what the back looks like. That's your neighbor. This is the backyard, and I would say right about here is your property line. You can tell by these, um, these pedestals, these utility pedestals, of pretty much where the property line kind of runs because those are right on the property line, as well as sprinklers. 
So if we were to look for the sprinklers in here, we can further verify where the property line is. The lanai has been enclosed. Another little peek at it from this side. Could use a little bit of pressure washing. Here's some more damage to the siding. That'll need to be repaired. All right, let's go ahead and go on inside. So there is a little foyer. And it looks like the luxury vinyl planking's been put throughout this home. It does have the eight foot ceilings. No vaulted ceilings. That's called a solar tube. So that lets natural light in. You can't shut that off unless it gets to be nighttime. Um, here is the floor plan itself. So this is all one open floor plan here. There's your dining room, living room. Guests on one side, so they call it a split floor plan. Okay, so let's see, where shall we start? Let's, um, I'll tell you what, let's go on into the living room and I'm gonna give you a little look back Okay, and so that's what the dining room and kitchen looks like. Now, just based on what I hear, this is a laminate flooring. It's not your luxury vinyl planking, it's laminate. You can tell by that noise right there. Uh, let's do the kitchen first. Laminate counters. This is a vinyl um, peel and stick. Okay, so somebody just put that right over what was already down there, which was probably a rolled vinyl. It changed out the refrigerator. Maple cabinets, tile backsplash, maple cabinets. There's your gas range, microwave. And we will give you a look from the kitchen. There you go. All right, this way is the garage. First you have either a pantry or a coat closet. People I've seen use it for both. So this is your one and a half car garage. There is no pull down staircase. Your washer and dryer are in the garage. This is the old refrigerator that was in the house that they put out here now. And you do have a utility sink. So with gas houses, you have a gas water heater. You have a gas furnace. You have a gas dryer hookup. And you have your gas range. All right, so we come in from the garage. 
which is how a lot of people come home. This is what you see. We'll go to the master bedroom. No carpet. And this is um, just rolled vinyl. It's not any tile or anything like that. It's just your rolled vinyl. Looks like that's what might have been in the kitchen. Here's fiberglass shower surround. A toilet tucked away around the back side of it. Gives you semi-privacy. Here's your linen closet. Okay. So a look out to the living area. Back out into the master bedroom area. And then this is what your walk-in closet looks like. Let's head on out to the lanai and then last but not least, we'll hit the guest suite. So this is a really nice size lanai, actually. Enclosed. With acrylic windows. So it's like a hard plastic. And your patio that we saw outside. And then a view from the lanai to your living room, dining room, and kitchen. Over to the guest suite. You walk right on into the guest bathroom. Same vinyl flooring. Tub shower combination. This is the back guest bedroom area, no closet. Most people use this as the office. And then we'll head down. Take a peek back to the guest bathroom. And then this front guest bedroom does have a closet. And here's the closet. Okay. So many people tell me why didn't you show me inside the closet? I didn't know closets were that important. Anyways, there you have it. Um, that will complete the inside portion of this home. And then we just have the drone to do. Storm door, and then a peek at the neighborhood. All right, so here we go with the drone version of this video, and we're looking at the front of the house. Let's go ahead and take it up a little bit.
give you a little perspective from the air. There you go. All right. So that'll give you a look at the front. Let's go ahead and head around to the back. There's the, uh, there's looking right down at the backyard. And then I'll go out and I'll get, turn it around and give you a little perspective of the home. So there you go. There's what the back looks like. All right, so it does have a little lanai, some room in the back. Might need a little bit of privacy hedges back there. You can see it faces that lanai or that that person that person's bird cage, anyways. Okay. Let's go ahead and go on up a little bit. And I'll kind of show you the neighborhood. So let's see. What I will do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fly out of the neighborhood and just outside the entrance is one of the recreation centers, which is right there below us. Now that's called an adult pool. And that's where your mailbox is, where you go to pick up your mail. Give you a little better perspective there. And then your recreation center where you have activities is back this way. So we just flew out of this neighborhood. But we're going to go down the road and head over to Summer Breeze Recreation Center. So right below us Okay, so that's a view of a lot of the villages. Right, <clears throat> right below us is the gate for Duval. This is called the Village of Duval. And there's your Summer Breeze Rec Center. So a lot of activities go on right over there. There's your tennis courts, pickleball courts, something called platform tennis is right there. You have a, um, a beach volleyball right there. And then you have an Olympic sized pool And then that, of course, is your recreation center right below us. You have a fitness center in there. You have all kind of different things. Check out my recreation centers. I actually did a uh, video of this recreation center, this very one. All right, so hope, hopefully you enjoyed the video, the drone, everything we saw on the outside, on the inside. Um, I'm sure you can appreciate this home listed at 235 uh, at 1,240 square feet living area. Um, Jan, if this is a home for you, give us a call, 352-454-9561, or text me on that number, or email me, homes, 
aroundthevillages at gmail.com. Okay, so um, that's all the ways that you, Yen, can get a hold of me and anybody else that's watching this video can get a hold of me. Okay, so uh, just one more time, this home is listed at $235,000. Um, it's uh, 1,240 square feet living area, 1,540 square feet total. It is a, well, when this home was built, it was called a ranch home series. Now it's called a cottage series, okay? So um, not to be confused with the other series of homes, the designer series, the premier series, then the, and the villa series. So um, anyways, if you, my YouTube channel subscribers and viewers are watching this and there's not a banner that says sold by video, this home is available. And you can give me a call and we can talk about possibly making this home your home. All right. So um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you're not yet a subscriber, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also the little bell icon to get you notified each and every time I make a new video. And also comments. We love your comments. Please go ahead and make comments about what you think about this home. Um, it is a uh, wood framed home with vinyl siding. Uh, so, and then we kind of explain the rest of the home, you know, in the previous series of this video. So I wanna, once again, thank you so much for watching this video and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.